today I'm going to give you the most important training video that you will ever get as a hang glider pilot. If you only ever watch one video on hang gliding as a pilot, then this is the one to watch. Because today I'm going to teach you how to train your retrieve driver. One of the frequent questions I'm asked about hang gliding is how do you get home afterwards? Well, the answer to that is by having a well-trained, well-motivated and a good retrieve driver with the right attitude. How does she get now, motivated? having this, how she gets motivated, that's, that's to come in a later section. <laughs> having the right retrieve driver is not just about luck. It's about careful selection, motivation and training. Uh, and making sure that your your retrieve driver has the right aptitude and the right skills to be able to do it and it's about motivating them in the correct way and ensuring that they've got the correct behavior in this video i'm going to explain exactly how you can train your own retrieve driver and demonstrate my extreme skill my own personal extreme skill at training retrieve drivers with my driver who i've been intensively training over the last two months so that she's now actually reached level four in retrieve driver ability and is probably one of the best retrieve drivers in the uk in explaining how to train your retrieve driver i'm going to cover a number of topics the first one of these is selection selecting the right retrieve driver can be rather tricky an elite hang gliding athlete can expect to have a horde of would-be retrieve drivers knocking their door down so it's important that you get the right one and that they've got the right skills and abilities for the task one of the skills that they must have is the ability to drive being able to drive without crashing or ripping bits off your car is an added bonus it also helps if they are easy on the eye some people find that their partners fulfill a lot of these requirements uh, and some people do use their partners as retrieve drivers but this can bring its own dangers uh, particularly which I'll cover in the attitude section. I was really nervous about um, becoming a retrieve driver because it's such a huge responsibility and I know how difficult it is navigating back country lanes and actually finding Darren when he's landed and sometimes maps can be unreliable in getting you to the right destination. The next section I'm going to cover is motivation. It's important that your retrieve driver is well motivated and happy because a happy retrieve driver makes for a stress-free flight and an easy retrieve afterwards. So how do you go about motivating your retrieve driver? Well quite often it's the little things that count. Compliment them when they pack your harness correctly show your enjoyment of the sandwiches that they've made for you and explain to them that they're going to that retrieve driving is fun and that they're going to have a fun day out in the countryside perhaps with a picnic and at the end of it they're going to get a treasure hunt except at the end of the treasure hunt the prize that they will find is you you should also make sure that your retrieve driver helps you to carry your equipment um, you can start off with harness and as they progress you can then move on to get them to carry the glider don't worry about overloading your retrieve driver because they should be really gra grateful because what you're actually doing here is helping them to uh, to get fitter. So that's the point of uh, making sure that your retrieve driver helps you carry your equipment onto the uh, the hill or wherever you're taking off from. So it's really important to be up bright and early, ideally seven o'clock, making sandwiches and packing treats for your pilot, making sure that they're fully nourished for the day ahead. It's really important that they've got enough energy for flying and that they're fully stocked up in the food department. It's also really important that they've got a range of drinks, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, and they're fully fueled up for the day ahead. Another really important section is attitude. It's absolutely pertinent that your retrieve driver has a happy, and a helpful demeanor at all times this is especially important when you've had a bad flight because you didn't make goal because naturally the conditions were poor or a paraglider pilot got in your way and they need to understand that you need that extra support at this time and provide that um, that happiness that helpfulness that you genuinely need as a pilot sometimes fledgling retrieve drivers get silly little ideas in their heads like wanting to finish by a certain time 
or expecting favours in return for retrieving you. Or some of them even have silly little rules like toes touching tarmac, which means that they expect you to be on a road before sending your location where you are. It's actually their responsibility to find you and to make sure that uh, they manage to get the car to your location, even if that's in a field in the middle of nowhere. They can't expect you to walk. So I have made some um, silly mistakes actually, things like forgetting the sandwiches in the packed lunch, putting batons in the wrong way, and I know this is a very serious and life-threatening um, mistake, but Darren's been really understanding with me and he's helped develop my skills and described very patiently how to do things correctly and become the perfect retrieve driver. I'm so grateful to him. You can actually reinforce the right attitude by using some of the ideas that I told you about in the motivation section on motivating your retrieve driver. And you might even have some ideas of your own. But if this doesn't work, don't be afraid to revert into the old school method of just explaining to them that you, as an elite hang glider athlete, can expect a horde of retrieve drivers to be knocking down your door and they are easily replaceable. There are some behaviours that are to be discouraged from your retrieve driver uh, and may actually point towards having a bad attitude. That includes laying down, relaxing, chatting to other pilots and generally not being on the job and attending to all your needs. Uh, so just make sure that if you catch your retrieve driver doing something like this, then you actually deal with it straight away. Oi, you need to pack my harness. The next section covers radio etiquette. You're going to have to explain to your retrieve driver how to work the radio. So the first thing you need to explain to them is that it needs to be switched on in order for them to hear you and show them how to switch it on. You also need to explain that they need to press that little button on the side when they're talking and to stop pressing it when they stop talking. And also you need to teach them that they do actually need to stop talking. And you finally, a really important point is you need to teach them that anything they say on the radio or the people on that channel can also hear what they're saying on the radio. If you do well today, darling, I'll give you the soapy sponge treatment later. I'm now going to talk to you about goal beers. Every hang glider pilot knows how incredibly important it is to have a nice cold goal beer at the end of the flight. Now I use the term goal beer loosely because you get one when you go to goal, but you also need one when you land out somewhere uh, because you know you've had a difficult flight and you, you need that beer. So currently, Sarah, when she's getting these gold beers for me, she has to stop off on, on an off license somewhere on the retrieve, just so that she can find somewhere with a fridge that makes sure that she delivers to me a nice cold gold beer. Now, this is a bit of a secret, but as a birthday treat for her, what I've arranged is I'm going to buy her for her birthday a cooler to put in the car so that she doesn't have to stop off at an off license and gets rid of this inconvenience. So it's going to be much easier for her to provide me with a nice cold gold beer by having that cooler in the car. Now, this actually comes under the section of looking after and helping your retrieve driver, which I'll talk about in a little bit, a little bit later. Being a retrieve driver has transformed my life. Um, it's got me out of the house, away from the kitchen sink, and taken me to new places that I would never have been to um, in my life. And I even sometimes get a reward of a cup of tea and a bun if I've been really good at my job. Being thoughtful, helpful pilots that uh, all hang glider pilots are, we all, of course, want to help our retrieve driver which is what this section is about. So first of all, when you're parking your car, whether it be on the top of a hill or wherever, make sure that you park it facing the right direction for the retrieve driver to drive out of. Because a lot of retrieve drivers do struggle to turn cars around, particularly on thin roads or where there's rough terrain, such as roadside verges. Also, it's very helpful of you if you can have a tracker. So a lot of pilots have a tracker app on their phone, which enables the retrieve driver to track them during the flight and to drive along and follow the flight. So that makes it a lot easier for the retrieve driver to actually be in the right place when you land. So you're really helping them by doing that. But always remember to turn your tracker app off after you've landed, because you don't want the retrieve driver knowing your every move. And this is particularly the case if the retrieve driver happens to be your partner. Now, 
many of you who have had retrieve drivers in the past will know that they can be really forgetful at times so one good tip in and another way that you can help your retrieve driver is to get them a shit together bag so they can keep all their shit together okay so what have we got in the stuff together bag let's have a look warm clothing just because you never know when conditions might change more warm clothing more warm clothing a toilet roll just because you never know when the pilot might need to go sun cream to keep your pilot protected in the other extreme of weather a hairbrush just so i can brush my hair before he lands packed lunch to keep the pilot fully nourished and ready to go and a battery pack so we can keep all his items fully charged topped up and ready to go and last of all fully charged radio so he can relay any last minute instructions to me as he takes off the next section is about sharing retrieve drivers now there may be the odd day when your retrieve driver isn't able to make it probably because they've broken a leg or some serious illness or there's a family bereavement of a close family relative and on those occasions it's acceptable for them not to be able to come and you on those days might want to share another pilot's retrieve driver now it's really important that when you do this that you consult with the other pilot as to exactly what the skills and abilities are of their particular retrieve driver because they might not be quite up to the standard of your own retrieve driver particularly if they haven't watched my training video on how to train a retrieve driver it's also good hand gliding etiquette to offer your fellow pilot some fuel costs some money for fuel costs and to uh, to pay their costs for, for that pilot if your pilot doesn't get to go remember it's never their fault it's usually something um, that you've done. Um, it may be that you've not nourished them correctly or that you've not attended to the needs properly. It could be that um, a paraglider's got in the way and um, distracted them somehow or that the conditions haven't been right. So in these circumstances, it's really important to have extra chocolate and treats ready for them when they land because they're going to be very disappointed and that you maybe give them a little back rub or um, look after them in a really kind way because they're not going to be very happy that they've not reached goal and it's your responsibility to look after them so there are several different skill levels um, for a retrieve driver to attain Level one is actually arriving at the pilot landing point within 30 to 45 minutes of you actually landing. Level two is them arriving within 10 minutes of you landing. Level three is the retrieve driver carrying your equipment such as your harness or your glider or whatever. That depends on uh, your preferences as a pilot as to what you prefer them to carry and also the strength of the retrieve driver. But you build them up over time. Level four is where they start to pack your harness for you and they start to rig the glider for you. Uh, and level five, now we're starting to get into the really big stuff, that's where you as the pilot conserve your energy and conserve yourself for the flight by sitting and eating your sandwiches whilst the retrieve driver packs your harness and rigs the glider for you. Just allowing you to concentrate on making sure you've got that flight properly planned. And the final level, level six, is where the retrieve driver actually la arrives at your landing point before you get there, whether or not you get to go. I'm really pleased to have um, been chosen as Darren's retrieve driver and um, I'm proud of the, all the progress that I've made. I'm really grateful to him for um, all the training he's given to me on top of his hand gliding commitments um, he's devoted time and effort into training me up to become the, the best retrieve driver I can be and I'm hoping soon to progress to level 5 retrieve driver Training a retrieve driver is a difficult and arduous task it requires a lot of hard work, commitment and effort from you as a pilot if you put the effort properly into training 
a retrieve driver and they, they meet the required expectations, then it does lead to stress-free and fun flying for everybody. Since the filming of this video, my retrieve driver has actually decided to pursue a different career path and one that actually pays. On reflection, uh, her frail nature wasn't really conducive to the rigours of retrieve driving. Now, whilst this is disappointing and frustrating for me because I've spent a lot of time and effort intensively training her on how to become a good retrieve driver, it does open up an opportunity for others. Now, I know there will be a lot of interest in this position, so I will be holding a rigorous selection process where I will be going through people's CVs uh, and having a stringent interview to make sure that I select the best retrieve driver um, for my new training. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, and also, if you've got any comments or your own experience of, retra of training retrieve drivers uh, and any uh, little retrieve driver stories that you might have, then put them in the comments below. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video.